What is going on everyone, it's Nier and here for you some Halo 4, and ladies and gentlemen, I've been getting the questions so much lately, should I buy Halo 4, should I not buy Halo 4, and guys, my goal throughout this video is not so much to influence you to either buy the game or not buy the game, only you can make that decision, I can't make that decision for you, but what I wanted to share with you guys throughout this video is the customization in Halo, this is something that a lot of people who are you know, wondering whether they should buy the game have been wondering about, but not too many videos, not too many people actually go in talking about the customization, they basically just do gameplay commentary, talk about the game and whatnot, I'm going to share with you the customizations. Something a lot of people don't actually show you. So obviously we start here at the main menu. You got start campaign, uh, infinity, which is actually the multiplayer. You go in here, you go to war games and uh, find the match. This is all different game modes you can play. You got flood, capture the flag, oddball, king of the hill, team slayer pro, and all that good stuff. Uh, Spartan ops, which is similar to spec ops. Forge, by no means is this forge world. It's simply forge. It's not nearly as cool as forge world. If you're looking for a forge environment uh, from Halo Reach, it's not that. Uh, and then there's Cedar, obviously, all that good stuff. But if you look in the bottom left hand side of your screen, you see Spartan Hub. This is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys throughout this video. So you press start, go to the Spartan Hub, go up to customize, and here we are. We got loadouts, Spartan Armor, and Spartan ID. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about the Spartan Armor. Now, one of the cool things about Halo is the fact that no two players look alike. I mean, they look alike in terms of color. If you're playing a team game mode, obviously, you're either on the red team or you're on the blue team. If you're playing free for all, you look how you look in your Spartan Armor right here. However, you customize yourself, that's how you look in free for all. Other than that, you can change around completely everything about your character. So let's start off with the helmet right here. Look at all different options of your helmet. I mean, if you see it, by the way, if you see anything that says recruit like this, this is what you initially start off with. This is the very first thing you're going to start off with. And then after you rank up and stuff and meet uh, prerequisites like down here, like the accommodation, bullet, and the brain master, you unlock different things. And there's tons of different kinds of helmets, tons of different kinds of customizations. Uh, going through them, I would say this one's the coolest. <laughs> I think that one's pretty neat. Well, there's tons of different ones. I'm yet to unlock it. Uh, it's just one of them. And then you go down to your torso. What, like I said, like what's cool about Halo is no two players seem to look alike. There's tons of different kinds of outfits. You completely customize your own helmet. You got your own body armor, your old torso area. Then you can sh uh, change around your left arm. You can change around your right arm. There's so many different things you can do to change your character. You even change down to your forearms for crying out loud. Your characters are completely different as compared to any other player that you go up against. You can even change your visor. I mean, personally, I think this white one looks the coolest, but I mean, there's a bunch of different kinds. It's just a matter of you unlocking them. The customization in Halo is definitely not lacking. Obviously, you can go to colors as well, and you can change around your colors. Me personally, I think the red and white looks really, really, really good. <laughs> I think that looks sick, but a lot of people use red and white, so typically I'll go with green and white. Uh, the red face mask doesn't make a whole lot, or the red visor doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but. Uh, that's typically why I go with, I guess. Uh, I guess let's try. Eh, nah, nah, yellow looks kind of gross. Either way, we'll use yellow for right now. Next, we're going to be going over to loadouts. This is a completely new to Halo Reach, right? So now we have the idea of custom classes in Halo, which is a neat thing. So I'm yet to unlock loadout 4 and loadout 5. All in all, once you hit uh, Spartan rank 41, you can eventually unlock all five classes. Uh, level 26 is when you get the second one. I'm not sure what level I got the third one, but you start off with your first two initially. So let's go in here. This is the first class I made. I haven't really tinkered around with it too much. Uh, you have the primary weapon. And let's see here, a bunch of different things you unlock. You got the classic battle rifle from the older Halos. You got the classic assault rifle. You got the DMR from Halo Reach. Uh, you got the storm rifle. You got the light rifle. You got the Covenant and Carbine, which I'm, I need to unlock with Spartan points. If you're wondering what Spartan points are, every time you level up, you unlock some Spartan points. So you can use those to unlock different things here throughout your uh, custom loadouts. And you go down to the suppressor, and that's your final gun. You have to basically choose between the guns for your primary guns. Personally, I like B, uh, the BR. I like it a lot. Then you get your secondary weapon. You customize your secondary weapon. No longer in Halo 4, it, similar to something like Halo Reach, where you picked, you know, your own game. The game mode picked your class for you, like Team DMRs or you know Team Snipers or whatever. Every game you choose your own class, and you completely can customize and make your own class. It's kind of a neat thing. All the way down to what kind of grenades you want to use. Yeah, uh, personally, I like frags. I like to bounce off stuff. I did use plasma for a bit, but yeah, I find frags a little bit more effective for me. Uh, armor ability. No longer do you have to choose a class based upon the armor ability. You can choose. You got jetpack, none, thruster pack, which allows you to like, you know, bolt forward really quick. Uh, hologram, Promethean Vision, which everyone's always complaining about. It allows you to see through walls for a short period of time. Uh, hard light shield, it puts up a shield. Active camouflage, makes you invisible. Uh, auto sentry, puts out a little sentry turret thing that won't kill, but it'll hurt people. And uh, regeneration field, which puts out this big green field that, that can heal you and your teammates. Uh, that's just your armor ability. Then you go down to your tactical package. Um, when my previous Halo 4 video, this is what I was talking about. These are the kind of perks that are in the game. Uh, you got tactical package. 
Uh, me personally, I use shielding. It speeds up my shield's recharge rate. Uh, you can go with none if you wish, I guess. Mobility allows for unlimited sprint. Uh, resupply uh, allows resupply of recovery of grenades uh, from fallen allies or foes, so you can pick up more grenades. AA efficiency, which increases the rate at which your energy recharges for armor abilities. Your armor ability being, you know, a jetpack me personally. So if I'm using this perk, the AA efficiency, that'll allow me to uh, go up and be able to pick up uh, my jetpack. My jetpack will refuel itself faster. And oh, I guess I missed two. Grenadier increases grenade carrying capacity and firepower allows use of primary weapons as a secondary weapon, similar to Overkill from Call of Duty. And then you got uh, Support Package, which is basically your next perk, I guess. Dexterity is what I use. Uh, it allows for faster reload speeds and weapon swapping. Uh, ammo increases the amount of ammo you start off with and the ones you get from your ordnance drops, which are essentially kill streaks. Um, your sensor allows a larger motion sensor range for your minimap. Uh, increases uh, awareness, allows... What does that say? Allow this, or awareness allows the use of motion sensors while using a scope. Explosives and makes your grenades a little bit stronger than ordnance. Priority. Uh, in mode with personal ordnance, ordnance priority offers a frequent ordnance drops. to uh, Basically, that's like hardline. You get more uh, ordnances, I guess. So, a bunch of different stuff. I mean, they, like I said, you can have more than one class, which is kind of a cool thing. So, customization is definitely a big thing here in Halo 4. And now for the final thing, we're going to head on over to Spartan ID. Spartan ID, this is something that uh, yeah, has a little bit more customization. You can get your own emblem. Uh, obviously not as neat as the Call of Duty emblem. Let's go down over here. Uh, you basically can change it around to wherever it is you want. Uh, me personally, I just use the three triangles. It looks kind of neat. Then you can change the background in which it sits on. And then obviously you can change around the colors of it and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I wish, there was I wish I could just put another triangle behind it, but upside down. Similar to the one I just had. But yeah, there we go. That one's kind of neat looking, right? So obviously this doesn't match my character at all, but either way, that's my emblem. Uh, you can change your stance, because the stances are actually now a part of your photos, how the game works in the multiplayer. So right now, these are the only ones I have unlocked. Um, this one's kind of cool looking, I guess. Yeah, I can't really decide between the recruit and the heroic. I guess I'll go with heroic. Uh, you can change your gender, male or female. Basically, this makes you bigger or smaller. I'm going to go with female for now, because I'm a jerk. And just for all intents and purposes of actually sharing with you guys uh, what I'm talking about, let's go to Infinity... Um, War Games, actually no, if I just go to Forge, I don't think I have to actually join a match, here we go. This is what the cards, when, whenever in your pregame lobby or whatnot, and you're looking at your players, every player has their own little card, and here's my card. You go here from the card, you click on it, you can uh, change teams, or you can check the service record. You can check my service record and see how bad I suck at the multiplayer, see I'm negative 81 in my kill-death ratio, and I have a ton of assists. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a neat thing, it's a neat thing, so let's go back here real quick, let's go back to Spartan ID. Um... I, what I didn't cover, I think I covered everything besides service tag. And service tag is what people see you as on the minimap or in the game. Like a little arrow will be pointing to you and they'll say what your uh, service tag is. I write Nero because it makes it easier for people to see me. Uh, teammates wise that is. So that is my video for you guys today. A little bit of Halo 4 action. Uh, not really action. I'm just showing you guys some of the customization here in Halo 4. Hopefully I broke it down a little bit for you. Maybe that can influence you whether or not you want to buy the game or don't want to buy the game. Now you know a little bit more about the customization of the game. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't rate the video wherever you guys feel it deserves. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I roll. I got one gear. Oh, are you bipolar? Uh,